Hi, my name is Dan Hotman. I'm one of your instructional coaches in this Palmdale School District. And we're gonna take a look at how to get your Google Classroom all cleaned up and ready to go for next school year with uh, some really easy procedures, five steps to get you ready for the next school year. So I'm gonna preface this video by saying that you're gonna see a whole lot of classes in my Google Classroom, but I own only a few of them. I am co-teachers on a lot of them. So if you're a co-teacher and you're not the owner of the class, it's gonna be up to the owner of the class to do a lot of the stuff that we're doing right now. And so that's gonna be up to them. But for right now, we're gonna be talking about the classes that you own. So the first thing that we need to do when we talk about cleaning up our Google Classroom area is we need to make sure that any outstanding um, work that has been turned in by students has been given back to the students. And so the reason we do this is to make sure that all the work that they've turned in reverts back to the student's ownership. That way, if something happens, you don't have ownership and they can't access it. So we want them to be able to access their own work. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go up here to the hot dog and I'm gonna go into the to-do list. Now, the reason I go into the to-do list is that when I change the all classes to my third grade enrichment class, it will tell me what has been turned in and what's been assigned. If it's been turned in and it has a number there, that means I have not graded it yet and I haven't sent it back. Now, at this point, it's not about whether we've graded it or not. It's about getting it back to the students. So let's see here, we have final project. Let me return this to the students. There we go. And let me go back to the to-do list. There we go. And let me go to my third grade enrichment. And let's see here. Oh, here's another one that needs to be returned. So that's all the outstanding work that I have returned. Everything's all done, ready for me to go. So step one, return all student work. Step two is gonna be to unenroll all the students from the class. Now the reason we do this is that it prevents the students from re-entering into the classroom and interacting with the materials after the end of the year. This can cause some ha havoc with you getting emails about late assignments being turned in or students uh, sharing work with people that they're not supposed to, like students for next year. So we're gonna unenroll all those students. So I'm gonna come here to enrichment class, people, and I'm gonna select all those students and under actions, I'm gonna remove them and then remove them. Sometimes this step can take a little bit depending on how many students you have. Now they're all gone. So step two, unenroll your students. I'm gonna go back to my Google Classroom homepage because that takes me to step three, archive my old classrooms. So I'm gonna take my third grade enrichment class, here's the three dots, and I'm gonna archive this. Now a couple notes, number one, this removes it from your main Google Classroom landing page. So when you go into Google Classroom, you see all your classrooms, it will remove it from this page. It will freeze this class so that you can't make any new new changes. So when you archive it, that's the way you're archiving it. It's, it's done, it's frozen, it's good to go. But you can still enter into it and see what it all looks like in there. Now this is gonna be a big deal when it comes to ELD, GATE, or any other programs that might require proof that certain things were done during your school year. Archiving it allows it to stay frozen. And then when if you ever need to provide proof to uh, anybody who asked for it, you can go back into those archived classrooms and you can provide the work that would have been done there. Uh, and if you ever need to make this, this classroom active again, you can always unenroll it from the archive. And my, my favorite thing is that if you have some assignments that you really liked when you archived it, you can still use those under repost. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the archive button. It's gonna tell me, are you sure you wanna archive? And I'm gonna say yes, archive. Now when this is done, you can see that that class disappears. But if I come to the hot dog and scroll all the way down to archived classes, here are all of my archived classes, a ton of them. But the big one is that third grade enrichment class. I can still go into it. I can still see the classwork and all the work that was attached to it. It's all there. So if anybody ever asks, you know, did you provide the work? 
Yes, I did. And here is the dates that it was assigned to my students. So that's why archiving it is really important. It just freezes it in time. So now that we've archived the class, now we need to remove this class from our calendar. So I'm gonna hit this Google Calendar button here, and this is gonna take me to my, my Google Calendar, and you can see the third grade enrichment calendar. I'm gonna take that and remove the calendar. So step four, removing the old calendars. There's nothing you need to see, so you can go ahead and delete that off of there. So those are the four steps for archiving. And let me come back here to Google Classroom and go back to the Google Classroom homepage. The last step is to create a class for next school year. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign and create. And now I can call whatever my class is gonna be called. It could be called this, new classroom for next year. I can create it. Now I'm ready to work on the next school year's classroom. And if I do that now, then I can go in and have my first week or so of classroom already set up for my planning. And there you go. So five steps. Step one, return all the student work. Step two, unenroll students. Step three, archive old classes. Step four, remove old calendars from your Google Calendar. And then step five, create that new Google Classroom for next school year. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of us coaches. We'd be more than happy to meet up with you and go over this. Have a great day.